and put I, Rom in Hollywood. NTR Jr., who is a freaking menace as Beam. He's amazing. And then probably... Colonial hangover, seeking white man's validation. But as I have explained in the other video, this is Americans discovering Indian cinema, being pulled over by this. And America matters because they are the biggest movie industry in the world. When Hollywood uh, A-listers or American movie fans or movie critics watch an Indian film and appreciate it the way they are appreciating RRR, which you will further see in this video, stay back. It matters not just for the cast and crew of that film, but for the entire film industry. Not just Tollywood, but Bollywood, the entire film gamut of India. And that's why this is not colonial hangover. This is, this is us uh, happy that we are being viewed by a far bigger market. We are being acknowledged by a far, far bigger market. That's it. So, and I, put Rom in Hollywood. Yeah. <laughs> My gosh. Think, yeah, he speaks really good English. Yeah. Mm. Um, he speaks great English. He's charismatic as hell. And the dude is handsome. Oh, he's very handsome. Just saying it. And if you haven't been on TikTok and seen all the people doing the Natu 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 dance, ugh, you have to, you have to, because wasn't that scene just incredible? The dance number in this movie absolutely rocked my socks off. There are, there are no two American or even just white <laughs> action stars that could do this. Could you imagine watching this movie with like Chris Hemsworth and Ryan Reynolds? They wouldn't be able to do it. They couldn't. Maybe they could do some of the action, maybe they could handle some of the comedy, but by the time that dance number showed up, I was like, there are no quintuple threats that can, that can match these two dudes. And these two dudes are NTR Jr., who is a freaking menace as Beam, he's amazing, and then probably my new favorite movie star in the whole world, Ram Sharan, who plays Raju in this film. These two guys do so many things that I've never seen in a movie before. I want to title this video, White Girl Discovers Indian Cinema. I at no point tend to exoticize it. I just really feel like this joyous energy is something that we really don't see enough of in American films. And it was so refreshing. It made me feel a way that a blockbuster never has. Like it was a celebration of life and cinema and the perseverance of Indian history and culture. It's just beaming with that energy in a way that is just so exciting. This is my favorite film of the year so far. After a rewatch, I just put it up above everything, everywhere, all at once because it is just so incredibly my thing and I think it's something really special. It's bringing people together across cultures and countries and most of all it's just a really well done film and an absolute blast. So it is my pleasure to give RRR five out of five stars. Again I really recommend checking this one out especially the American audience. I think this is gonna be a huge gateway film for people. I mean it already is. And he also you can tell at the end too when he has his shirt off when he's not oiled up he has like a a realistic looking body. He's not yeah. like whited out. He has like an actual person's body. All around. I thought uh, NTR and Ram Charan had great chemistry together. They, nobody, I can't imagine anybody on earth that I can think of that I would want. I'd be mad to think of anyone else mm -hmm. than these two guys playing these roles. I yeah. thought they were perfect. And I know, I think this is, I think this is the first time we've seen either, honestly. They, they do everything. They did. Uh, they did the action sequences spectacularly. Yes. Their their action sequences. I really believed them when they were in the moments that were dramatic and emotional. Mm -hmm. I really believed them when they were interacting with each other, and their comedy moments were rip roaring funny. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, they, like the the writing perfect. in this. This is they were perfect. Uh,